I'm going to show you how to change the case of words in Excel. What I mean by that is, for instance, I have the months listed here. And the first letter of every month is capitalized. But what do I do if I want to make it all capitalized, so every letter of each word capitalized, or if I want them all to uh, not be capitalized, so I want them lowercase, or if I just want the first letter capitalized. So it's very easy to do, and there's no point in retyping everything. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make everything uppercase now. Very simple. You just type a simple formula. Equals upper. Open parentheses. Then select the cell that you want. Or you can type in the word that you want instead of the cell. Close parentheses. Enter. And there you see January is now capitalized. I'm going to go ahead and drag this formula across. And you'll see now that every other month is also capitalized. So now let's go ahead and make it all lowercase. Very simple. Equals. Lower. Open parentheses. Select the cell that you want close parentheses, enter. There you go. And I'm going to go ahead and drag it across. And all I'm doing to drag it is clicking the bottom right hand corner of the highlighted box and moving the mouse across. Now you see everything is lowercase. So very simple. And what about if you just want to make the first letter uppercase? So back to what it used to be originally. I'm going to go ahead and do equals proper so P R O P E R proper open parentheses and I'm gonna click this cell right here because everything is lowercase then close parentheses enter and we're back to where we started January has a capital J copy it over and there you go so that's how you can make all of the text capital, lowercase, or just the first letter capitalized. It, uh, it's not a big deal when you're only working with a few sets of uh, a few points of data, but if you're working with a big list or a big spreadsheet and you need to change the case there, it makes a lot of sense to use these uh, formulas. It's also worth noting that if you do it a lot, it would make sense to make a macro to help you do this because obviously you can't enter the cell in the you can't enter the formula in the cell that you want to change the text so it's annoying if you're actually working with a preformatted data sheet um, I'll talk about how to make a macro to do this at a later time but that's how you can use these three formulas